From the battlefields of Vietnam to election night politics, few newsmen of this generation have seen more than Dan Rather. Rather served as the anchor of the CBS Evening News for 24 years. He currently hosts Dan Rather Reports, a syndicated television show. And local residents will get a chance to hear Rather in person when he delivers the keynote speech at the Madison Community Foundation's annual dinner tomorrow night. We asked Dan earlier why philanthropy is so important to him. Well, first of all, I'm very happy to be speaking in Madison, uh, where I've been many times before, but particularly uh, for the Community Foundation. I know of the Foundation's work. It's not unique in our country, but it is special. Uh, and in my own background, and I'm not here to play any humble beginnings, that I've benefited from community organizations very similar to the Community Foundation in Madison. Uh, you know, basketball leagues, baseball leagues, the lady who took me to the library for the first time. I actually went to a summer camp for, quote, underprivileged children. All of those things resulted from people in the community uh, contributing their funds to a community fund. The proceeds from the investments of that were used for the kinds of things I described to you. So I feel very strongly about this kind of work, and it's one of the reasons that coming to uh, Madison and supporting the Community Foundation is a great joy for me. It, it makes the entire community stronger, I would assume. We Americans take so much for granted. We are still a new thing in history. We're still a, a young country. But one of the things that we have contributed, we have a lot of problems, a lot of flaws, we've made our mistakes, but one of the things we've contributed to the world scene, if you will, is the, the whole idea and the ideal of individuals contributing to the good for the good of the whole community. Nobody in the history of the planet has done as much of it as we Americans do, have done as well as we do. We've been world leaders in that, and about that, I, I think we can be quietly proud. Well, let's talk a little bit about your career. You're still very involved in journalism with your show, Dan Rather Reports, and you were the anchor of the CBS Evening News for 24 years. Do you still watch the national evening newscast, and, and do you think it's becoming an endangered species? Uh, yes, you bet. I do watch. I try to watch all three. Uh, and yes, I think that uh, there, it is in danger of, of becoming extinct. I hope that doesn't happen. But let's face it, we're now in the digital world where the Internet uh, is, if it isn't already dominant as the place most people will get most of their news first, then it soon will be. And while I hope it doesn't happen, it wouldn't surprise me over the next three to five years if one or two of the so-called big three uh, do away with their evening newscasts. I want to emphasize that I hope that doesn't happen. I think it'd be a loss for the, for the country. Uh, but the dynamics of the business being what they are now, it wouldn't surprise me. What keeps you going? Why are you still doing Dan Rather reports on access? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could retire. <laughs> yes, but, uh, well, number one, uh, I, to retire to do what? Uh, <laughs> some people are happy in retirement. I, I love to work, and that's number one. Number two, I would much rather wear out than rust out. Number three, for whatever reason, I've never quite understood it myself, I have a passion. I burn with a hot, hard flame uh, to cover news. I'll, in my professional life, that, I think, was my destiny. And as long as I have my health and somebody will employ me to do it, <laughs> I intend to do it. And I know it's been said of me, and it's probably true, if nobody paid me to do it, and if I had to, I'd probably go door to door, knocking on <laughs> doors and saying, let me tell you the news. Do you enjoy this chapter of your career with your Dan Rather report show? Are you able to do the things that you're really passionate about doing? You know, I do, and it surprises me a little. Let's face it, I had a great... 44 years at CBS News, uh, for the most part. I was very lucky and mightily blessed, did the evening news for 24 years, and I didn't think I could ever find anything that would satisfy me professionally as much. Here, let's face it, I'm in my 80s. Uh, I have the freedom to do what I want, do the stories I want to do, which, you know, where my heart is, are in deep digging investigative reports and first class international reporting. And with the program I now do, on cable and for satellite uh, on Access TV. It's a much smaller audience, but for the first time in my life, and this is not complaining about anything before, I'm, I have total, complete, absolute editorial and creative control, and I get to do what I want to do the way I want to do it. Well, it's great to see you again here on Channel 3, and we're looking forward to your visit in Madison, Mr. Rather. Thank you very much, Mark and Susan. I appreciate it.
The Madison Community Foundation annual dinner with guest speaker Dan Rather is tomorrow night. The dinner and speech begin at 6.30 at Monona Terrace Convention Center. Online registration is closed, but if you'd like to go, tickets are still available by calling 232-1763. I'm really looking forward to it. 84 and still going strong. He'd, Isn't he something? He'd go door to door and read you the news. Wouldn't, that be, wouldn't you love to open the door and see Dan Rather in the front door? Topping your news. <laughs> All right, coming up, baby.